just want to show you how we planted our kunde. Kunde is a um, traditional uh, vegetable, especially Kenyans love it so much. So we did them under drip irrigation. Uh, drip irrigation utilizes a um, small amount of water compared to the normal uh, type of irrigation. And also it's convenient in a way that you can be able to plant uh, your crop uh, in whichever season, be it rain season or a sunny season, as long as you have water and uh, you can always give them uh, adequate amount of water wherever you want. So this is the kind of irrigation that we usually do. It's called drip irrigation as you can see. Um, our kundes or uh, yeah, our kundes are planted under drip irrigation, as you can see them. Uh, these are uh, these are uh, about two weeks we planted about two weeks ago, and they have sprouted very well. So we are uh, expected that in two weeks' time we'll be able to be harvesting this uh, kunde so that we can take them to the market. So it's an um, it's a crop which um, usually take uh, like four weeks and you are able to harvest that very crop. You can be able to take uh, it to the market. So it's also a leguminous plant in that uh, you can be able to control uh, maybe what we call the, what we call the crop rotation you can be able to do with this kind of uh, crop. So as you can see, this is how drip irrigation looks like. Mm. Each each drip each drip line has a um, we planted kunde at the spacing of around the uh, ten um, ten centimeters from one plant to another, as you can see. So they they sprout and then they continue to grow as you can. Kundes, they don't uh, need a lot of uh, maybe things to do it, maybe a lot of fertilizer or what. For, for us, what we just do is we, we utilize uh, rabbit manure and uh, rabbit uh, urine. So you can see, this is rabbit manure. You, I think you can see them. So this is where we come and put here our rabbit manure and then in, after we put there is when we can be able to plant our crop. So, and then we do rabbit urine, we do fatigation. Fatigation basically is where you, you pour uh, the diluted urine in the ratio of one to five. The diluted urine, you pour it on the, on the plant, at the base of the plant. From there, your plant can be able to absorb that um, very nutrients that very nitrogen that it requires and um, also you can do the spraying you can dilute it and then you do the spraying through a knapsack a pump that we usually do the spraying so um from there i just leave them they don't need a lot of work in that matter it's just for you to give them the required um, nutrient. Uh, they thrive very well, especially in, in organic way, in, a man, in organic manure, and like maybe other fertilizers. So we don't need a lot of fertilizers here. And from there, we'll be able to uproot these plants. We just do a protein. I think maybe during harvesting, I'll be showing how we do. The exactly the protein of that very plant so as you can see our plant is um, healthy it's healthy and um, it's a uh, four beds of uh, close to 30 centimeters each uh, 30 meters each sorry close to 30 meters each and then we can be able to